Hi, this is JP from Not Alliance Over Arkham. Welcome to the last episode of this campaign run, and this is uh, the Dim Carcosa with Patrice Hathaway. Uh, we managed to get past the Black Star's Rise last time, and I actually managed to get 5 experience together, so I didn't do many changes to the deck. I added Charisma, which you can see here, and I also added one copy of uh, Peter Sylvestre, level 2 into the deck and that is everything so basically we can uh, start without going into detail on the deck I'll put the deck list into the video description if you want to see the final deck list for this campaign uh, last thing we need to do is to do the tarot reading as with this campaign we have been doing the balance reading so I will be picking one card upright and two reversed because we have the damned weakness in play so let's see how, how we are punished this time with the tarot cards so i'm just making a quick shuffle to the tarot deck and uh, we'll pick this as the upright so we get the magician each investigator begins the game with three additional resources so at least that's a bit helpful then the first reversed is the Hanging Man. Each investigator cannot mulligan or replace weaknesses in their opening hand. Resolve their revelation abilities when the game begins. So that's that's not good. And lastly, we get the, the strength. And it's during the first round of the game, each investigator cannot play assets. So that well, it, it really doesn't matter that much with Patrice, as you can just commit cards to skill test, but we'll go with those tarot cards, and uh, also because we had only four tally marks on the stranger, uh, change in the cha uh, stranger, we have two doom in play from the start of the game. Uh, final note is that uh, in the last scenario, I forgot to add the one doom on the last agenda, uh, which didn't end up resolving anything because uh, we were one turn away from getting defeated by Doom, so we were barely uh, able to get through that scenario, but the others didn't affect me that much because I didn't get defeated and, well, I got to heal one trauma. And, yeah, uh, in Carcosa also we start with uh, half of our sanity, uh, removed, so I immediately have three for on Patrice. Uh, I think that's everything. We st uh, opened the path below, so we sh start at the shores of Hallet and not the dark spires. And I am I have the up here and down here because it's too long of a map if I put it upright. But uh, that is all, so I think that's everything I wanted to say so before we start, so let's get started. Okay, we are ready to begin the first turn, so uh, we can't mulligan and, uh, well, we have uh, three additional resources, but we can't play any assets, so I'm hoping to hit uh, events or stuff like that. So. One, two, three, four, five, and hopefully no weaknesses, please. No weaknesses. Uh, look what I found. <laughs> Miss Doyle and Peter Sylvester and Shriveling. I could have used all of those, but it is what it is. So, well, immediately I think I will try to investigate. We are playing the look what I found if we can. Uh, we have two uh, cultists and two tablets in the bag after, after the last scenario. So uh, let's see. Uh, we are testing two versus three. Tablet is a minus three. If you fail and has to place in play, place one clue on your location. Well, uh, Hester is not in play. We'll try again. Minus two would be good. So let's see. Okay. I'll commit Miss Doyle because we can't play her. So we are mm, 
3 versus 3, minus 2. So we fail. I'll play the look what I found. So look what I found. Uh, we discovered two clues at our location. And we need two clues. So I'll actually spend them immediately. Uh, yeah, I, we actually need to advance immediately. So his final bow uh, spawns the side man in the pallet mass enemy at the pa palace of the king. And now uh, we need its investigator cannot discover clues. The man in the pallet mass cannot be defeated except by his ability. And the man in the pallet mass would be defeated by this, his ability advance. Okay, and place man in the pallet mask over there. In the palace of the king. Uh, last action will start moving towards the palace. So we'll move to the, to the bleak, uh, bleak plains. So, uh, while you are in bleak place, you cannot play ally assets. Well, couldn't either if I wanted to. So that is our turn. Uh, we discard our hand. No enemy actions will go upkeep. One, two, three, four, five cards. Uh, or key ring, last chance, moonstone. We get stupor in play, which is annoying. And uh, mysterious raven. And if we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, the stupor will hinder our investigation. Uh, we also can parlay or draw and do, well, do the, those three actions on the same turn. Uh, I have to find a way to heal. Heal one point of horror, so Peter would have been really good for that. Oh yeah, healed one point of horror. Yeah, Peter would have helped there. Okay, well, uh, we'll add a doom. Three of seven and card is uh, Spawn of Harley. Uh, pray most or retaliate force after you successfully evade Spawn of Harley by two or less. Take one horror. Uh, that that will uh, hinder us quite a bit. So it spawns engage with us. Well, well. Uh, we are evading two versus two. I don't have any good cards to commit. Well, I'll commit the last chance to evade. So we get, uh, we still have. Uh, it still gives us. Two, so we are evading four versus two. Elder sign. Well, that was a lucky break. So we'll uh, shuffle everything but the look what I found into the deck. We succeed and we evade by four. So we don't take a horror. Just shuffling the deck quickly. Okay, then I'll play the old key ring. Last chance we'll move. I'll go to uh, Ruins of Carcosa. And that is our turn. Uh, this enemy, yeah, we'll move it here. So, uh, no enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep. This guy readies. We discard our hand, I'll play the Moonstone. And we draw five cards. And drawn to the flame, Mr. Brule, Watcher from another dimension, Spectral Razor, and Open Gate. 
and we gain a resource. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Encounter card for this round is Winged One. Spawn bleak planes. Okay. It is. Uh, it has retaliate after the location is split over if winged one is ready and engage move it once towards that location. At least it didn't spawn on us. Uh, that's at least something. But yeah, now we are drawing too many enemies, so this is getting harder. First action we'll move to the palace of the king. Okay. Uh, we'll do the investigate action on the man in the palace mask. So we are testing uh, two versus four, uh, two versus three. Uh, Actually, I won't do it this round. We don't have good cards for that, so I'll play the Mr. Hule. Then... I'll play an open gate over here also. So I'll just put it underneath. So we can get quickly back to the palace if needed, and that that's a fast action. So last action, uh, we'll gain a resource. So that's everything. And let's see, this isn't a hunter. That isn't a hunter. No enemy actions. We'll go to upkeep. We discard our hand, except the watcher. Okay, Guts, six cents, last chance, and Moonstone. And we can resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a Doom, five of seven. Encounter card is uh, voice, uh, visions in your mind, failure, error hidden. Secretly add this card into your hand. When you your turn ends, if you did not perform at least one resource action during your turn, discard this card from your hand and take one direct damage and one direct horror. Okay, well, we are just getting rid of that. So, first action, we'll investigate. I'll commit... Six, uh, actually, I'll play first uh, six cents then we will investigate and I'm committing last chance to the test so we are investigating so we have four cards so this gives only one so we're investigating three versus three. Actually, mm, I'll try to evade the watcher. In my hand. And I'm committing guts. So I'm Five, six, seven versus five. Call this reveal another token if you fail to take one horror. Minus one, we succeed, so we get rid of the watcher. And now we will investigate. Oh yeah, we draw a card. And... Uh, yeah, well, that sucks. 
well, we'll still try to investigate. So this gives me plus two. So four versus three. Minus one, that is enough, so we pass. And we'll advance this. Pigment of your imagination. Put the set aside Hastur, the king in yellow, and I mean to play next to the act deck. For the remainder of the scenario, Hastur is considered to be in play, but is not at any location. Remove man into play mass from the game. Okay, so we get uh, Haster, the king in yellow. Just keep Haster over here. So Haster, the king in yellow, four fight, seven health, two evade, ancient one elite, cannot be damaged except for story and card effects. Pause at the beginning of the enemy phase if Haster is ready. Haster attacks each investigator in player order regardless of the location. If Haster's attack deals you horror in excess of your sanity, you take one damage as well. Uh, action test willpower X where X is Haster's fight value. If you succeed, exhaust Haster. Any investigator may trigger this action. Okay, well. Master will attack us this round. We can't do anything to that. Again, the man in the pallet mask is removed from the game. Okay, well, that's our turn. We discard this. We'll take one damage and one horror. Master hits us for uh, two horror. So we have, are down to. One sanity remaining. We discard our hand. Draw one, two, three, four, five. Read the signs, promise of power, yinging it, cornered, and look what I found. And we gain a resource. So, yeah, let's look at the goal. Uh, so, the king in tatters. If there are no clues on your location, remove each inve investigator clues from the game. Uh, if there are no clues on your location, remove each investigator's clues from the game. Flip your location over and resolve the text on the other side. If a Haster is defeated, advance. Okay, so we done the upkeep. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well... Um, I think this round I will move, move and investigate here. Okay, so move, move. Depths of them and investigate. Actually, we'll actually won't do that. We want cornered into play, so I'll take a resource. I'll play cornered. And last action we will commit this to the test on Haster to exhaust Haster. So I'm testing six versus four. And I think we forgot to do the upkeep in this round. Okay, let's let's play. So uh, we add a doom, six of. Yeah, I, I totally forgot to do the upkeep. So six of seven encounter cardies, uh, high priest of pastor, spawn palace of the king. Okay, so our turn goes. We'll do that whole turn again. Because this guy this guy would hit us. Okay. Let's 
so first action we'll use the mist of relay to evade this guy and I'll commit don't have anything to commit so oh yeah I'm using willpower committing the this okay uh, seven versus two uh, six versus two I mean minus two we evade and we can move one location away High Priest of Haster is in the Palace of the King, exhausted. Second action, we'll take a resource. Last action, we'll play the cornered. We'll just take hits from Haster, unfortunately. Uh, enemy phase, nothing happens except Haster hits us for two or We'll take one damage because of that. And we discard our hand, we gain one, two, three, four, five cuts, open gate, perception, mist of relay, and stray cat, and a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We had a doom, so the agenda advances. So, key to the investigator must decide, choose one, any investigator, test in a willpower core to snap out of it, if successful, advance to agenda 2A, if fail, you must choose an option you haven't yet to choose, have yet, you have yet to choose, yeah. so I'll test that, I'll commit guts, S uh, 5, 6, 7 versus 4, Cultist, zero, we pass, we'll draw a card. Okay, we advance to Agenda 2A. Madness drowns, so has to get plus one fight and cannot be defeated. If there is at least five damage on has to advance the Agenda. Per investigator, okay. And we get uh, encounter card, realm of madness, discard cards from play and or from your hand with the total printed resource of at least X, where X is the amount of horror on your investigator. If no cards are discarded by this effect, take two horror. So we have eight horror, uh, discarding one, two, three, four. This is a hard choice. Uh, seven. Okay. Eight. So we lost the uh, moonstone and the old keyring and a bunch of cards from our hand. It is what it is, but we'll try to continue. First action. Mm, we'll move over here. Second action will use the Mist of Relay to investigate. I am committing the unexpected courage, so we are investigating 6 versus 4. Minus 2, that is enough. We'll grab a clue. And it was a uh, fast trigger ability. If there are no clues on your location, remove each investigator's clues and read the backside. Deal one damage to Haster, exhaust him and disengage from him. So disengage him from all investigators, flip this card back over for the remainder of the game, it cannot be flipped over again. So we deal one damage to Haster, exhaust Haster. And this can't be flipped over again. And uh, this 
hunts over here. Because we reveal the back side of our location. It should be ready. We ha still have one action, so I'll move over to Dark Spires. Okay, enemy face this enemy hunts over here. I'll keep be ready. We gain five cars, one, two, three, four, five. And a resource. So we get what, uh, winging it, mist oil, manual dexterity, hook pieces, violent perception. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom. Encounter card for this round is King's Edict. For each, uh, for each card this enemy in play, move one clue from the enemy location to that enemy until the end of the round. Each card this enemy in play gets plus one fight and plus one clue. And uh, do we have a Yeah, the High Priest of Haster is a this, so this goes on to that. So we could actually go and reveal that later in the game. And that is it. Uh, we'll start by I'll take a resource. I'll play Miss Doyle. And uh, see which cat we get. We get Augur, so we get help to investigation, which is good, I think. These other two will get shuffled into the deck. Then, last action will investigate. I'll use Augur to investigate. And I'll commit this to winging it, wing it with cornered perception and freezes violin. We're up by a bunch. Tablet is a minus three, but I don't want to fail, so I'll grab one clue, and that is our turn. We draw a card from the perception. Enemy face. This enemy hunts here. Upkeep. We discard these. Oh yeah. Well, I forgot faster. Okay, faster hits us. Take a damage. Oh well. <coughs> and we draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Then we gain a resource. That is that round, let's go to the next round. We had a doom encounter card is the small curse. Test will power three. If you have no remaining sanity, this gets uh, test gets plus two difficulty. If you fail, take two damage, four damage instead. If you have horror on your greater than twice your sanity. So uh, we are testing. Uh, four versus five. I'll use shriveling with corner, so we are six versus five. Promise of power, we are ten versus five. Uh, skull is minus two, minus four. Uh, we have no sanity remaining, but we still succeed. 
so you don't take any damage. Okay, first action. We will commit corner to the investigation. Use auger. We are um, seven over three. Minus four, we actually succeed. And we'll get to flip this over. You cannot bring yourself to do what must be done. Flip this card back over or realize that you have. You must do your step over and push her, take two horror and deal two. Uh, investigate the amount of damage to Haster. Flip this card back over for the remainder of the game. If it cannot be flipped over again, so I'll take two horror. Now I'm. I have 12 horror. On me and uh, we'll deal two damage to Haster. So Haster has uh, three of seven so we still need to deal two more damage so we can flip the palace of the king over and these get removed okay and this enemy moves over here second action I think we will move over here. And uh, last action. So this enemy and the high priest engage. So I'll evade the winged one. With my last action using the stuff food there. I'll commit manual dexterity with corner, so six versus four. Zero, we pass and we get to move again. So we'll move over here. And this winged one is exhausted over here. And that is our turn. Oh yeah. Again, I forgot Haster. <coughs> so, enemy phase. Haster hits us for two horror. And we'll take one damage. Then, uh, this guy. When High Priest of Haster attacks you, if you have a copy of Possession in hand, reveal it. Then, High Priest welcomes you into the Grand Company of the King you are. Eliminated and proven insane. Well, uh, luckily we don't have a possession in hand. So he hits us but doesn't do any damage or anything. We'll go to upkeep. We ready up. We discard our hand, draw a new hand. Two, three, four, five. And again a resource. Oh yeah, and oh dear, we got the madness. So, we have more, uh, I have to check again, so we have more doubt than conviction, uh, so we test intellect or we fail, we take two damage, and we, if we take two damage, uh, we can take some on Miss Doyle. So we won't die, but it's still bad. So, intellect four test. I'll, uh, you commit this to cornered, so we are four versus four, five, six, seven versus four. Minus three, so we just barely pass, so that's good. We don't take any damage. Okay, and that is that round. Oh yeah, and we gain one resource, so I think we already gained a resource. 
I, I don't remember, but that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We are a doom, three of seven, and count card for this round is uh, which is visions in your mind, hatred, peril, hidden, revelation, secretly add this card into your hand. When your turn ends, if you did not perform at least one draw action during your turn, discard this card from your hand and take one direct damage and one direct aura. And this is not a possession, so this guy won't kill us. So, oh yeah, this has ready it. I think I'll do it like this, so I'll flip this over. We deal one damage to Haster. Four of seven. And this can't be revealed again, so we don't replace it. So this moves, engages us. We will evade using mists. Yeah, four versus four. Minus two. Fail. Okay, I think we're in trouble. Uh, two versus. Uh, we need an elder sign here, or this is game over. So, uh, evading. Two versus four. And it is a minus four, so we fail. So, during the enemy phase, this enemy hits us for three damage. One horror. And this guy hits us, doesn't do anything, but Astro hits us for two horror. And deals us one damage. Oh yeah, uh, we are uh, Miss Doyle actually died. We took one, so we actually died already to the winged one's attack. So okay, well that's game over. That's campaign over. Also, I didn't do a when my turn ends. I took one for and damage from this. So yeah. That is game over. Well, Patrice gave it a good try. We we got four of seven damage on Haster. Uh, if we would have gotten to the dim streets, we could have uh, healed her, but this wouldn't have dealt the damage. So uh, then we would have needed to go to the maybe to the shores of Halley. So there would we would have gotten one more damage on Haster. Then uh, we would have revealed the Palace of the King. So we have the Palace of the Haster King in yellow. So we would have put the Reasons of Your Own Mind into play. Let's see what that tap does. So while you are in the Reasons of Your Mind, set the base value of your willpower to zero. Okay, so I think, yeah, we, let's see, well, either way, we would have had to do something here, and then get faster to zero, and defeat, and then the spots, yeah. Well, that, that was a defeat, but it's still a fun campaign, and I really like the playing with the tarot cards, even though some scenarios went to, went to shit pretty early when I drew a bad combination from those tarot cards. But hope you guys like this campaign playthrough. Uh, I'm not sure what I will play next on Arkham Horror, but uh, you will see when I post those videos. So thanks for watching, and until next time.